North Carolina is preparing to get slammed by Hurricane Isaias as the storm makes its way up the coast. Dare County is under a state of emergency and Hatteras Island is under a mandatory evacuation. Emergency officials are urging people not to let their guards down. 13 News Now reporter Adriana Dialba is live in Nags Head with a look at those conditions on the Outer Banks. Adriana. Hey, Nicole, well, I'll tell you what, we had a really nice day out here today, but tonight we're beginning to notice those winds start to pick up just a little bit, seeing the waves come crashing in a little bit stronger, but overnight into tomorrow, that's when we could start to see those potentially dangerous conditions, things like storm surge, strong winds, even the potential for several tornadoes and emergency officials urging people not to underestimate the power of this storm. It's a wait and see for people in Nags Head ahead of Isaias, Dare County under a state of emergency. Visitors like seven year old Larissa Rudd and her grandpa plan to wait for the storm to pass inside the family's beach house. The night before we actually came here, I was way too scared to come out here until yesterday. Today, emergency officials doubling down, urging people not to underestimate its potential impact. The storm could bring wind gusts of up to 70 miles an hour, storm surge, and potentially tornadoes. It could lead to flooding inside of homes and shut down the road on Hatteras Island, which is under a mandatory evacuation. We have our crews ready to go. They're up and ready. We've brought in some additional resources, high wheel vehicles from across from the state to help us out. Visitors we talked to plan to stick it out. We're just uh, waiting, see what's going to happen. We're enjoying our time here. Tomorrow, we'll likely wake up to a much different picture. And once those conditions start to worsen as the storm moves in and we start to see those winds really pick up, bad idea to be driving out there. Emergency officials want people to stay put. Uh, ocean conditions also expected to get worse, and it could be dangerous even for the most experienced swimmers. So they want people to avoid stay getting into the water over the next few days. The big message out of here tonight is to stay safe and not take any chances with this storm. That's it for us here. We're live in Nags Head. Adriana the Anva. 13 news now. All right, Adriana, thank you. North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper is urging everyone to stay on high alert as Hurricane Isaias moves in. Cooper says it doesn't matter if it's a tropical storm or a hurricane, it will create dangerous conditions regardless. The Coast Guard and National Guard are on standby in case things get messy. Shelters are available. Everyone will get screened for COVID-19 before being allowed in, and anyone with symptoms will be isolated.